Hello, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're staying safe. Today I need to talk about the title I am sharing with you, my spring and summer TBR. I've decided to do seasonal TBRs as I mentioned in my last video, which was my bookcase tour, bookcase for health tour, whatever you like to call it. That will be linked down below. I've decided that monthly TBRs, for some reason, even though, like, I'm obviously not, like, like being forced to read this book, and not, not that I'm ever feeling like I have to read, but it's just, I kind of feel like down if I have like a set of books that I say I'm going to read and I just don't read them. Then I get to a reading slump and then I just get to a vicious circle and I'd rather not do that to myself. So I've decided that I'm going to do like seasonal TBR. So uh, obviously spring and summer I'm going to do one, then autumn and winter I will do one. And uh, if I, some of these books I don't finish um, in these two seasons, then I will carry them on obviously to the next season. And it's not, you know, whether or not if I, if I don't read any of these books in the summer, spring, summer, I'm going to toss them. No, it's just, you know, just some ideas that if I feel like reading a book, if these are the books that I was thinking of at the time that I like to get to, and if I read something else instead of one of these, I'm not going to, you know, hit, like, get mad at myself over kind of thing, you know? So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of just a way to get me back into reading and everything like that. And now I feel like I'm just rambling and let's just jump right into the books. So I have uh, quite a few. I have, let me just count quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I also just found one here that I want to read as well. So we have thirteen. And, uh, yeah, let's just get started. So let's start with this one, and that is Kate Hudson's Pretty Happy. And this is, uh, this is a nonfiction, uh, it's about her life, her healthy habits, and different, uh, exercises and stuff like that. I, I, I've looked through the pictures, but I haven't actually sat down to read it. And, um, I love Kate Hudson, and, um, I think it would be a perfect spring and summer read. Also, as I mentioned in my last video, if you guys would like to body read any of these books with me, then please let me know down in the comments because I would love to do that. I this I I would love to do that. I would love to read a book and be able to discuss it with you. Um yeah, so just let me know. I also have a Discord, I'm gonna put the link down below for you guys. Um I have uh, a spot in my Discord where I talk about, like, I have, like, uh, recommend me books, and then I have, like, um, buddy reads, and then, you know, like, I, I'll, um, well, I haven't done it yet, but what I will do is that now that I have my books that I want to do, or, like, that, like, keep me out for spring and summer, what I will do is I will list all the books under that tab, and then, uh, you guys can let me know if you want to buddy read, but it's totally up to you. Um, it's there if you want to, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's just continue on. So the next book we have is The Secret Garden by Francis Hawkins Burnett. I also have another one of these editions. Um, uh, where did it go? I had it. Where did that book go? I had Anna Green Gables. And now I've lost it. Okay, I, I'm reading Anna Green Gables as well when I find it. I have way too many books. But yeah, so we have The Secret Garden, Anna Green Gables, wherever she may be. <laughs> uh, another nonfiction is The Glass Castle by Tanette Walls. Um, I love reading nonfiction, and uh, I really have been wanting to read this for a while, so I figured I'd put this on the CBR. We have some historical fiction here. We have uh, The Resistant Women by Jennifer Chavarini. Um, I really like this is about an American woman moving to Germany after marrying a German economic. And uh, she basically, uh, when a hit word is Nazi party, uh, she's just power is about basically women kicking butt and uh, going against the Nazi regime. So, uh, I'm just to read this. The only thing is that it looks like the font is very small and it's like a big book. Let's see how many pages. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I think almost 600 pages. 
Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> but I am excited to read it. Another historical fiction. It's Before the Crown by Flora Harding. This is about Princess Elizabeth meeting Prince Philip. And um, it, I'm, now I'm sad if I want to read this because if you guys don't know me, I love the royal family. I know a lot of people have their opinions about them, but I love history. I love, you know, everything that has to do with history. And the royal family, big part of it. And uh, yeah, I, I love them. And uh, I know there's a, like, there's a lot of stuff going on, but history, okay? It's part of history. Next we have The Hidden Beach by Karen Swan, a family secret as someone can save them all. Karen Swan has a lot of, um, I don't know about this one. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, Chris Stockholm. Uh, it's about, it's, it's, oh, her books are always about, like, mystery, um, and, like, present day to, like, you know, uh, something that happened in the past. And yeah, I love Karen Schwann's writing, and I've read two or three of her books now, and uh, I really, I really love her writing, and uh, I recommend her novels. So hopefully, want to get to this soon. And I thought it was a quite, I thought it was like 500 pages, and it's actually like almost 400, so it's 100 less. Yeah, it's just like it's big, big boy. I'm in a little bit of pain, so I'm like talking too much, and I probably make no sense, so please forgive me. I might end up having to film this again, but. <sighs> Oscar Wilde, The Picture of Dorian Gray. I mentioned this in my last video. I. I don't know why I'm gonna put myself through this, but this is a classic that I need to read, and um, my mom actually really liked this book. And I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to read this again for my mom and uh even if I have to hate Dorian through the entire novel I will but I'm doing it for my mom and I'm dreading it yet I just want to see what happens at the end now we have Karen White's The Night the Light Went Out this is uh based in Atlanta Georgia Atlanta Georgia always spring summer to me so I figured throw this in there and I've been really wanting to read this and so I thought why not I might actually start this today when I have a bath because I've decided that I'm going to have myself a little um spa night tonight I have some face masks that I've been waiting to use so maybe I'll do a little face mask do a little you know girly girly evening and have a little wine and read I don't have any wine so it'll be pop and read so uh, yeah excited about that one. Oh, founder. I found Anna, Anna or Anna, Anna Ann, uh, Anna Green Gable by Lucy Munn Montgomery. Uh, I love these editions from Chapters Indigo. I want to go back where he get more books in the series, um, or in this like print. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read her. Then the last four books that I have here are by Sarah Morgan. It's her New York series. So we have Sunset and Central Park. Then we have New York Actually. Moonlight Over Manhattan. And Miracle on Fifth Avenue. I'm not think I swear I've already read one of these. I don't know which one I read, but I read one of these already. But um or no, I that's back on the Never mind scratch that. It's not here that grandma this story. But anyway, so those are all the books that I would hope to get to in spring and summer of this year. Um, as I said before, if you guys would like to buddy read any of these novels, then please let me know down in the comments. I will link my Discord down below for you guys. Um, after I film this, or after I film this, after I edit this and upload it, I will be posting other uh, books on my Discord for my, like, if, if you guys want to buy a read, you guys can go ahead and follow me on there if you have Discord. If not, I will post it on my Instagram and my Twitter. And, uh, yeah, just let me know. Uh, I'm always up to, you know, chatting books and all that good stuff. And if you guys have any recommendations for books, 
I will be putting some books on hold today. Um, I've been looking at all the books that they have on, on the library and my iPad and uh, I'm like trying not to put too many books on hold because I still have so many to read here. So um, yeah, but if you guys have any recommendations of books you would like to read with me from the library, then let me know because maybe we could do like, you know, do that. I don't know. Let me know. So uh, I think that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I have all my social media links listed down below as well as Ryan and Theodore's. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all that good stuff. And we're always up to talk. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.